Hey guys, I'm Madison Curtis with Car TV. We are here in San Diego, California at the last stop of So You Think You Can Dance Tour. And I cannot wait to talk to 10 of America's favorite dancers today. So Jordan, what studio did you grow up dancing at? I danced at, I began dancing at Dello's Dance Studio Performing Arts in Walnut, California, and then I transferred over to Dance Precisions in Pacentia, California. <laughs> That's really cool. Is there a dance teacher who helped you get to where you are today? Yes, there is. Her name is Donna Shepard Wood. I think she's actually on car faculty. Funny. Hey, car. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Um, my dance teacher's name is Miss Denise McClendon. Um, she's over at McClendon School of Dance. She was my first ballet teacher that I actually danced and attend to. Um, she was really hard on me. Um, that's where I am today. Um, so I was really excited for her to come and actually see me perform and see me follow my dreams. So Jess, what studio are you from? I'm from For Dancers Only in my little town of Little Falls, New Jersey. So I've been there since uh, I was beginning dance at three years old. Do you have a teacher there that really helped you get here? I do. Actually, I have a few. But one of them is my close and dearest uh, dance director, Miss Kelly Allen. Shout out. Love you. Um, I started dancing at my mom's studio in uh, Wisconsin called Young Dance Academy. So I started tapping when I was five years old. And then once I graduated from high school, definitely got a lot of help from a mentor of mine, Danny Wallace, lives out in New York City. I assisted him and he, he really moved me to the next step. I grew up from like three to 18 at Rocky Mountain School Dance in Colorado. Was there a teacher that helped you get here today? Oh, so many. I would say my ballet teacher, Sarah Tallman. She is amazing. She's always inspired me to be a better person and a better dancer. And that's probably, she's probably helped me a lot. Do you have any words for dancers who want to be just like you and be on the show? I would say just to stay humble and to never give up and to always be working hard and knowing that you're never as good as you can really be and just watch other dancers too. I always watch and learn off other dancers what, you know, might look bad, what looks really good, you know, and apply that to yourself. So don't just, you know, be so into yourself, watch other people dance too. That's great, you guys gotta listen to that. My parents and, fam and family have been so supportive and, you know, my studio that I've been with since I was like nine has trained me technically and just like energy wise to just stay positive and just go for my goals, so. What studio is that? Uh, West Coast School of the Arts in Costa Mesa. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, Focal Point Dance Studios in Miami, Florida. Miss Amanda Tay, I love you so much. Um, without her, I wouldn't be here. And without the inspirations that I had and like the idols that I like my dance idols, like Janine Mason or Alexis Mason, they're all amazing. And I wouldn't be here without them. Those are great people to look up to. Yeah, definitely. We are here with Melanie. Hello. So how does it feel to be the winner so you think you can dance? Um, it's super surreal. I never expected it. So I, di I didn't even plan on auditioning. So getting here was <laughs> sort of kind of a crazy experience. But I mean, it's been great. Um, on tour, I, honestly, I don't feel like anyone's a winner, anybody's a loser. Like to just be on stage with all these amazing people has been such a blessing and it's been great. That's so cool. So who convinced you to audition if you weren't going to? My studio directors, Becca Moore and Danny Rosenberg from Rhythm Dance Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, they convinced me to audition. Uh, I wasn't really doing much in school, um, so they told me that I was coming down to Georgia to audition because I had already missed the audition in New York because I said that I wasn't going to audition. And somehow I showed up and now I'm here. Well, it's a good thing you did. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun backstage at the last stop of the So You Think You Can Dance Tour. I'm Madison Curtis with Card TV. Thanks for hanging with me. Bye. <laughs>